Wait a minute. Hello my friends, welcome back. If you are here first time, my name is Adam Chaladin. I'm five times world champion in instinctive knife throwing, four times record holder for Czech Book of Records and member of International Knife Throwing Hall of Fame. Today I want to respond to Shad from Shad University. He made video about is knife throwing really useful or practical. I really like Shad, I'm actually a subscriber for many years but in his video there was a lot of wrong points and today I want to give you my opinion on this subject. So let's get started. So first of all let's talk about history of knife throwing because it's way more complex than you see in the Hollywood movies or in the video games. It actually comes from the stone throwing. First it was just an ordinary stone after they specially polish them and throw on the target but after that it was like a sharpened coin and it continued to the other hidden weapons it's actually a whole complex martial art of throwing hidden weapon I will include the link in the description below it's by one Shaolin monk that dedicated his whole life into this art and it's really interesting it's about two hours and, it, and he explained it was very very useful skill in past before the firearms came because if you can imagine that you were able to pick it up any hidden weapon that you was on your body and throw it and after that follow up with other attack or run away it was very practical in past of course there is way more about history of knife throwing but today I want to show you mainly the action part, the useful and the practical and now I want to talk about good knives versus bad knives because for your video chat you picked the wrong, the most horrible knives possible you picked the Hollywood kunai actually you have the bigger version of this knife but it's exactly the worst knife that you could ever pick because the classic kunai was actually not throwing knife it was mainly utility tool mainly for the gardening, digging and stuff like that throwing was like a last resort this is kind of like a original copy or something like that from Japan we use it in our episode Lords of the Blades and as you can see from the Hollywood version it's totally different your knife was a little bit bigger and heavier that's good but like I said it limits you in a lot of techniques and stuff like that I'm gonna be talking about techniques in a little bit later but now let's talk about the knives real quick I wish that you could pick something like this this is the great throwing knife for starting point is the Osetta shape and it's way better because you can actually grab it like a real knife or also like this I'm not sure if your knife is sharp but often these bad China knives are and problem with these Hollywood knives they rebound from the target often and the material it's so wrong that it's gonna bend or snap very soon you also had very strange target you know you had some kind of like a blanket or something you definitely need some plank of wood or at least the low ground so you're gonna throw better and like I said this one would be way much better All right and now one of the most important parts for combat throwing or useful throwing whatever you pick the most wrong technique possible because you pick the full spin throwing that means the knife rotate 360 to the target something like this but on this one as you maybe know you can't throw it combat style or instinctive because if you're gonna move one step forward it's gonna under rotate and if I will move back it's gonna over rotate you see so Shad I really hope that you would study more tutorials or check the YouTube 
because you would find out or maybe find my channel there is other technique called no spin throwing and for that one you don't need to know your distance from the target you can literally stand anywhere you can be super close like here there is some thread in front of me like guy with a machete or something like that i can create a little bit distance so he can't actually reach me with my machete but i have my knife ready like here or in my hand like hey guys stop 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 you can throw it run away or you could also follow up with other attack you could have like a side blade or something like that and continue with that but definitely no combat is the best one so i would prefer definitely throw or run away or don't throw at all at the best situation but like i said the no spin it's perfect because you don't have to stand at one place you can literally move i'm standing right here moving moving and as you can see I was not watching my distance at all from short ranges it's very very practical in my opinion so maybe you already noticed knife throwing is getting way more practical now right but in my opinion it was never primary weapon it was always secondary like I said for the destruction and uh, stuff like that and you also saying in your video that easy it's easy to dodge right you can tell me if i'd be standing like this close can you dodge this mm, i don't think so it would be that fast you know and these are the most ranges in the combat you can ask any gun instructor the most scenarios uh, are done from two up to six meters and that's for knife throwing very very powerful because those distances you can throw very fast and if that is not convenient for you imagine i can also throw with my right hand you know so i can only distract you with my right hand i can see where you're going you know and i can finish it with my speed hand so something like this if you would be moving it would be very very difficult for you to dodge you also mentioned that range for knife throwing it's also very small and that's very not true because for knife throwing we can throw accurate on the competitions up to even 25 or 30 meters guys are accurate on the target but that's more with the spin throwing technique and we can actually compare it to the plumbata because you also mentioned it in your video but plumbata was never used for accuracy for the closer distances it was mainly used in the units they throw it at the one time and it was mainly so the soldiers would raise raise their shield and it would make them vulnerable on their torso so for the bow archers it was way easier right after that so plumbata it could be actually compared with a knife because I could as well throw randomly at the 35 meters at some unit and cause some damage or make them raise the shield. And if you are wondering for no spin technique, like I said, the most useful or the practical distances are from two up to six, seven meters. And right after that, it's more about the skill and it can be also done. So 10, 15 even 20 meters no spin it's possible but it takes great skill to learn that it's not gonna be overnight but it's possible but for the practical and the most combat scenarios i think the short distances are most practical because it's very hard for you to dodge something like this You also said that uh, shurikens maybe couldn't hurt you, right? That the piercing point is very small. You again comparing it with the Hollywood shuriken, you know, those are super small, even smaller than this one. And 
power it's very very low after that it's going bigger and bigger so you can imagine that this actually can cause serious damage you can see this one would penetrate within a few inches and after that you can have even something like this <laughs> so i would not say that shuriken can cause some damage you know it's about the right size and the weight and proper technique and also where you're gonna hit all right but even the classic shuriken hira shuriken was used again mainly for destruction but in some cases they put poison on them so after that it was i guess very deadly if you are curious check it out wow so about that deep anywhere in the body that would be a huge problem you also mentioned a shot in your video that knife throwing can be too much powerful like you can't uh, cause some serious uh, penetration that's uh, very wrong because you can with the proper technique good weight like these top dogs uh, you can cause serious penetration with this I actually pierced the chain mail you said you can't but actually I did and it was also riveted and it pierced through the meat as well today I don't have um, here some riveted chain mail but at least for a little demonstration we put this uh, coconut that one have a uh, tough skin so you can see at least just a uh, little demonstration for fun but I can assure you knife throwing it's very very uh, dangerous as well because even dump ricochet can cause serious damage a lot of people that are practicing know that I got hit on the finger a few few weeks as well blood everywhere so it could be very dangerous so you can only imagine if you would be hit with the full force and you would have only normal clothing I can assure you you can penetrate the jacket anywhere you would have to have like some kind of body armor or something like that so let's see the coconut <laughs> so check it out the knife actually sliced through it here we have the entry point I guess it's sliced over here through the skin and out to the target it could be very very powerful my friend and it's stuck still about this deep wow in one of your points you're saying that knife throwing it's overhyped and with that i have to agree knife throwing in the video games it's like a one throw one kill in the hollywood movies the same thing the guy it's throwing you know killing everybody right away so I think this is the bad portrait and the other group it's like everybody think like oh you are knife thrower you are throwing around the person you know you have to be like a circus thrower and that's also sad uh, that people think this you know the most of the throwers actually in our sport we are throwing on the competitions you know, you know we are throwing on the points it's something like dart and I would love to see um, knife throwing developed this way you know not more for the combative throwing because we don't need to use this we have like a firearms in the in the 21st century right you don't you also don't need to use the swords you know so i can tell like sword it's also not practical you know these days that's again the similar point so i would love to see knife throwing going one day maybe olympic sport because if you would be more interested in our sport you would realize we are very nice community we are helping each other i have a lot of brothers and sisters in the knife throwing community we are traveling around the world on the competition and it's so much fun i highly recommend it if you didn't try it yet all right guys let's summarize it so do i think is knife throwing really useful yes i think for sure because mainly it gets you out of your house outside outdoors you gonna move you gonna learn new techniques you gonna meet new people around the world on the competition you gonna learn new skills 
and like I said, it's so much fun. But pick the right knives from the start because if you will have crap like this, you're not gonna enjoy it at all. You need something better like this Osetter or the White Shark by us, Top Dog Wolflund, or you can also use some cheaper versions by United Cutlery. It depends on you, but these are for the lifetime. Amazing knife. And right after that, you have to study tutorials knife throwing. If you're gonna just stand in front of the target and throwing randomly, you're not gonna stick it, you're not gonna have good time. So I would start actually with a conventional half spin. You can see my tutorials, that one is from close distance. And right after that, you can move up on the longer distances, but mainly I would pick the no spin technique, like I showed you before, the knife flies straight. That one was used by Japanese samurai. It's very, very useful. So like I said, guys, let me know your opinion in the comment section below. Do you think it's knife throwing really useful or not? And definitely check out the video from Shad University about the knife throwing is really useful or not. But today, guys, thank you so much for watching because that's it. So uh, again, thank you everybody for watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe and see you next time.